This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Ohio Farm Bureau members. For nearly 100 years, Ohio Farm Bureau has been bringing people together. Join us in the journey. Together. Together. Together with farmers. In Black Lake, Ohio, a young entrepreneur founded Tiger Mushroom Farms when he was just seven years old. Several years later, Talaria Watkins II is now a thriving business owner, published author, and philanthropist with the help from his mentors and family. Tiger Mushroom Farms was started when our son finished the Cub Scout project. They grew cat grass and basil, the first meeting, and he was very intrigued with it. And then we said, what can we do in the wintertime in Ohio? What can we grow? And so my son said mushrooms because mushrooms grow in the dark. So I searched online and found a mushroom kit, a box kit, about yay high, put it on the counter, and uh, it was pretty easy to grow. We contact a business named Back to the Roots, and we bought a kit from them, and we grew the mushrooms. It was so interesting. We wanted to grow our own mushrooms. We grow shiitake and oyster. The shiitake are in my basement, and the oyster are in my spare bedroom. We start our mushrooms from blocks already created. In order for the company to create the block, they start out with spawn, mix that in with sawdust, and then that sawdust and spawn bind together over a couple of months. They ship the blocks to us. All we have to do is make sure that our environment is set, so the humidity needs to be around 80 to 70 percent. And then for the shiitake, the temperatures need to be around 50 to 60 degrees. During the winter downstairs, we have a huge utility sink that I'll use as a little sprayer to spray them off. And then we'll soak them. I made a little contraption to hold them down in the water. And then it'll soak up to four hours to eight hours, depending on how long they've sat, to make sure that they rehydrate. Once they're rehydrated, we take them out, put them right back up on the shelf, and in two weeks, literally, they begin to produce and grow as full-grown mushrooms. It's a really fast process. We keep the mushrooms healthy by coming down to spray them and to check on them and to keep the humidifiers going because we humidified the air. The oyster mushrooms, they need the temperatures higher, around 70 to 80 degrees. We start out with boiled straw to sterilize it and chop it up, and then it's packed in a plastic bag. It'll sit for about a week or two um, just to let the mycelium spread throughout the straw. The bag actually turns completely white. And then we'll put that up on the shelves, poke holes in it, and then about another two weeks, we'll start getting full-grown mushrooms. Once the mushrooms are harvested, you have to give them a cooling off period to get the field heat out of the mushrooms. So they're refrigerated overnight, then all we do is pack them in boxes to make the deliveries. We deliver to Sassafras and Flatiron every Wednesday. Flatiron is a restaurant in the Arena District. And then Sassafras is a bakery in Worthington. And they order from us on a regular basis. So every Wednesday, we usually make those two deliveries. We had quite a bit of shiitake after a while. And so we decided to sell some at the farmer's market. So I found out you needed a, buy, a vendor's license, you needed uh, insurance, and so I decided, well, we might as well make it a small business. We started out with like seven farmer's markets, mm -hmm. and then this last summer we had 12. So we're getting, you know, a lot more people coming around and just enjoying the mushrooms now. We're 30 minutes from Granville, maybe 40 from Newark, and then 30 minutes from the farmer's markets in Columbus. So we're like in the center of the markets of our that we markets, go to. Right. Once we got out to the markets, people really loved the story and they really loved our mushrooms, so we wanted to produce more. And so then we started producing too many <laughs> mushrooms. We keep coming home with a lot of mushrooms and we don't want to waste them. So we dried them and ground them up, put them with different seasonings, and now they can last a long time. My wife came up with a seasoning blend that matched with the mushrooms, and that's how we came up with the shiitake and onion soup mix that we sell. The shiitake soup mix has dried shiitake mushrooms. We grind them up, and we put different herbs like parsley, minced onion, a little salt, a little pepper, celery salt, mm -hmm. and we started using it 
and sour cream to make it a dip so people could taste it at the farmer's market. The shiitake add a really savory layer of flavor and then the blend of herbs that we have just go with a lot of stuff. So it's just really versatile seasoning that can be used for just practically anything. The soup mix won the Ohio Signature Food Competition through a company called SIFT. And so at the state fair this summer, we were awarded with the prize. They're gonna actually help us to produce the soup mix in larger quantities and then market it to grocery stores. So we're super excited about that. Tulario decided that he wanted to inspire more people. He was like, well, I want a book too. I want to inspire people. So we decided after school ended, uh, he would spend some time to write his book. He had a rough draft that he did. I typed it up for him. We sent it to a small publishing company in Rochester, New York, and they did the illustrations for us as well. So when it finally, you know, came out, it was on Amazon, he was so happy. The name of my book is Celerio's Amazing Mushroom Farm. It tells you about my story and how I became an entrepreneur. Starting our own business has been super exciting. A little nerve-wracking at times, you know, being entrepreneurs, you really have to be consistent. Having Telerio out there is really the main draw at the farmer's markets, and people love, you know, seeing him and hearing the story. Everybody works together, everybody pitches in and basically does their part. Me and Telerio focus primarily on the growing. When we go to the farmer's markets, our daughter Kennedy is a superstar. She sells at the farmer's markets really, really well. We all, you know, participate in every single aspect of, of the business. And so, yeah, definitely a family working together has, has grown, yeah, grown closer for sure. One of his missions is to end childhood hunger. Right now he's a part of Food Rescue where they go to restaurants at the end of the night. They decide, okay, this is how much food we're going to throw it away. So instead of them throwing it away, Tilaria goes and picks it up and we take it to a local food bank. They both actually grow a garden during the summer and they donate all the produce to food banks. And so we're hoping as he grows older and older, his impact will be larger to help more people. And um, yeah, I think that's what we need in the world today. So I'm very proud of him and his sister for thinking yeah. about others. <laughs>